Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. I'm the RNG Genius, but you may call me Eric and it's we left off again in the side story with Chloe. Um, she signed on to Jenna's Royal Academy a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago is more accurate. Um, the side story is called Descended Wings and um, we we uh, we observed her bonding process with all her uh, well now friends at the uh, at the academy, and we have very much n known to um, well hate or love lecture lecture being the president of the steward uh, or of the student the school student council uh, you know what I'm talking about right. Um, well, we've been doing this, and right now he handed us an envelope that we're supposed to bring to the mayor, which is actually his job. But he ain't gonna do it, and we accepted the job, so that's okay. Um, unfortunately, I missed one conversation with him, with this fine gentleman. He was standing around here sparkling, and I triggered some event that made him go away, which is very unfortunate. But um, if I had to take a guess at what would have happened, we would have seen the real reason why he is the president. Because he is able to appeal to outsiders very well, even though everyone on the, on the inside knows that he's a friggin' a menace for all the for all the students and teachers and well the only guy who really appreciates him is evidently the dean and um well he does his job well most likely that's why he had such a sparkling entrance here and he was probably pretty happy about seeing such a such a promising young man at this academy but uh, well he handed us his work we're gonna do it we got permission to leave the academy so we're gonna go toward ruin city of ruin Hotel Blanche. Well, here I am. This is the first time I've had the chance to walk through here like this. Not like I could before. The last time I came here was during hun the Hundred Days War. Whoops. I forgot that you can't cross the bridge at this time of day. Guess I'll try heading to the mayor's mansion later. It's no big deal anyway. That sure didn't make it seem too urgent. It's so nice to see this town so lively. It really has changed in atmosphere since then. Hmm? Isn't that a casino? Mm -hmm. Please tell me he isn't here in there for the reason I think he is. He better not be. Lector, what are you doing in here? We are students. Gambling is express expressly forbidden. I know. I mean, I'm the student council president. Of course I know. Ah, yes, come to Papa. Ah, ah, I find myself doubting how he could be more... How... Uh, how he could be by the more by the minute. Maybe I should ask the Dean next time I see him so I can make sure this isn't some kind of elaborate ruse. That sounds like the bridge coming down. Finally, I can go visit the mayor now. I'll be leaving now. I see I'll I need to go and take care of your work for you. You stay right where you are. Right. 
Huh. Right. Just a little bit more. Are you even paying attention? Just stay here, please. Um, excuse me? I'm a student of, the, of Jenner's Royal Academy here on Student Council Business. Could it be possible for me to meet with Mayor Delmore? But I'm afraid, I'm afraid not. He's currently not in, you see. Is, uh, if your business isn't urgent, might I recommend you coming back another day? I'll be happy to hear what you have to say. I'll be happy to hear what you have to say. I'm the mayor's steward, Gilbert, and I act as, as his representative during his absence. So, you're a student of Royal, Genus Royal Academy, are you? That's correct, that's correct, sir. I've come to deliver an envelope from the student's council to the mayor. Chloe handed over the envelope to the steward. Ah, I see. It's the list of all Academy students for the current year. As you know, students generally live in dorms, and obviously there are large numbers of them coming and going a year after year. It makes keeping track of all the residents of the region that much easier when the school submits a list of students like this. Oh, that's interesting, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, to tell you the truth, I was once a student of the academy. Not just any student, a student either, I was part of the student council as well. Genesis Royal Acad uh, Genesis Council is a fine organization. They are proud as they are noble-minded, with a true dedication to carrying out their duties and bettering the academy they serve and belong to. I I see. It's hard to believe that was ever the case looking at the current student council. The experiment, uh, experience I gained there continues to be valuable to me thi to this very day. I'm sure the same will be true for you in your adult life too, so do continue to work as part of, the, uh, as, part of it as best you can. The thank you, I will. I'm not actually a member though. Well, if you'll excuse me, I wouldn't want to keep you any longer. Oh, it was no trouble. If, you can, if I can do anything else to help you in your future, by all means, stop by. I might be able to help. Thank you very much. Ha. He's real nice when he's not being a dick. I wonder if he's actually still here like I told him to be. Huh? I knew it! Um, excuse me? You wouldn't happen to know where the student who was sitting here is gone, would you? I'm trying to find him. Ah, you must be, you must mean Master Lector. Master Lector? A young lady came to collect him not long ago. She did punch him before they departed, however. Thank Ideos for Luchi. I'm so sorry for the trouble he, he's caused you. On behalf of the students of the Academy, I hope you won't think ill of us for the actions of one of our students. Our student council president, no less, I really do apologize. Oh, on the contrary, Mass Elector is a valued member customer of ours. Incidentally, should you happen to have the chance to speak to him, we have placed the coins from the game he was in the middle of in his pool as usual. If you could let him know that uh, it would be uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, all, all right then. I'm exhausted. I can't believe he's even an active gambler. He is so far gone, I'm not sure to where to begin with trying to turn him over like a new leaf. What? Huh?
Is something wrong? Oh, are you lost? No, I'm not lost. I'm just trying to find something. Like what? Uh, I can help you look if you'd like. You don't have to do that, but you really wanna. It's a red stone. It's really, really pretty. I'm sure I dropped it somewhere around here, but I can't find it. A red stone, right? Yeah. I don't get why I haven't found it already. Chloe found a pretty red stone. Excuse me? This wouldn't happen to be what you're looking for, would it? That's it! Chloe handed the boy the stone. Who? I'm glad we were able to find it. Yeah! Hi, I'm Clem, and uh, th thanks. Anyway, bye! Ah! Are you alright? I'm okay! Ow, ah, my head! I'll escort you back home. I can't go home on my own! I'm not some kind of dumb kid, you know! I know, but you see, I'm a little lost myself. I was hoping that I might be able to ask your family for directions. So while you might not be able, uh, while you might need uh, not might not need my help, would you be willing to let me go with you? Huh? Uh oh, then I guess I could. Sure. This way. Come on, hurry! <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. His house is this way, though. I guess he must be from Minoria. Huh? What's wrong? Well... The place he led me to was Mercia Orphanage. It was somewhere I knew... Uh, it was somewhere I knew well. Somewhere that was very important to me. That was also exactly why I knew I shouldn't be here. Because I was so weak-willed that I knew I would rely on everyone here to stop living by myself. I say that, but this was the first place I wanted to see as soon as I arrived in Ruin. Oh, how badly I wanted to run straight here. But I knew I couldn't. I swore when I joined the academy to walk with my own two feet, and I would do anything to avoid the places that would make my resolve buckle. What's up with you now? Why'd you get so quiet? You wanted me to introduce you to the matron? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little stronger than I was before, right? I've gotten used to life at the academy. I've made friends there. I've re resumed practicing my swordsmanship. I've gained stamina through chasing Lecter around. Maybe I'm ready to come back here. Maybe I'm strong enough now. Maybe I can finally walk back inside here with my head held high and not immediately give in to the weakness in my heart. Come on, you're scaring me. You're not sick or nothing, are you? I'm fine. Would you mind showing me the inside? Sure, this way! Keep up or I'll leave you behind! <laughs> there you are, Clem. Where have you been all this time? Everyone else has long... Goodness! Is that you, Chloe? You've grown so much, haven't you? Matron, I... It's you! It's really you! I... I... Oh dear! I see you still look exactly the same when you're crying. Well, I... What? What's going on here? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hug you out of nowhere before I knew it. I I was just so happy to see you again. Oh, there that's no reason for you to apologize. It's lovely to see you again, Chloe. You too. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're still the same darling young lady I've always known after all, aren't you? 
I'm glad you finally came back too, Clem. But I wish you wouldn't run away like that. I I just went to look for something, that's all. Um, if you don't mind me asking, Matron, where is Joseph? Hmm. You haven't heard the news, then. I'm afraid he's no longer with us. He passed away about four years ago. Oh. He passed away? One day he went out shopping in ruin and was caught up in an accident. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sweetie, why are you apologizing? I, I had no idea. If I hadn't been acting so stubbornly, I hadn't convinced myself I shouldn't come, even though I love it here. If I'd just been more honest with myself, if I'd just come here from the beginning... Ah! Is somebody there? Huh? Ah, oh, there you are, Clem! Where you been all this time? Oh, what are you trying for? Um, these are the children I'm looking after at the moment. Everyone say hello to our visitor. Okay! I'm Mary! Oh, what's going on? Hiya! Come on, Polly, you gotta say hello! Hmm. Chloe? The Mercia Orphanage you love is right here, you know. <laughs> so it is. Maybe we should all have some tea. Now seems like a good, uh, like as good a time as any. Will you give me a hand making it, Chloe? Of course! From that day forward, I stopped avoiding the orphanage. I made a habit of going there whenever the opportunity presented itself. I buckled exactly the th way I thought I would. I was the same weak little girl I, uh, girl I always was, forever craving the warmth of the orphanage and forever wanting to be surrounded by the lovely matron and the children. When I was there, the wor world fe felt bathed in happiness and smiling faces. Because I never knew my mother and father. All my memories of this place were the only ones I had of my childhood. For me, the orphanage I could visit now was exactly the same as the one I, f I fondly remembered from them. When I was there, I could be at peace. I could keep, my, uh, keep deceiving myself for as long as I needed to. Yet when I was there, I knew. I knew my heart wasn't as pure as I wanted to think it was. My garden, beautiful as it was, continued to stay closed. One month later. Heh, <laughs> I, I know I didn't intend to stay out that long. It's so easy to lose track of time when I'm at the orphanage. I better hurry back to the dorm. Academy Girls Dormitory. Ah, the lights are already off. Jill must have gone to sleep already. Ah! Ah! Good evening, my dear! Hello. Um, what are you standing there for? Especially with the lights off. That is extremely creepy. Oh, I was just feeling so lonely without my beloved Chloe around to keep me company that I opted to turn the lights off and sulk. You're never around on our days off lately. I don't know where you're always going, but you sure seem to love it there. Where have you been, anyway? I'm sorry for being out so late. I didn't mean to break curfew, but it just happened. Ah, no big deal. The teachers don't suspect a thing. I took care of that. That might not be the case forever if it keeps happening, though. They might notice at some point. 
Yes, I suppose you're right. I'll try and make sure to return earlier in the future. Matron Theresa might start getting annoyed if I keep staying out so late too. So? Huh? You didn't answer, by the way. Where have you been going? I know. It's a boy, isn't it? No way it isn't. I've just been going to an acquaintance's house. An acquaintance's house, huh? Oh-ho! And what relationship do you have with this acquaintance, dare I ask? Uh, it's a place called Mercia Orphanage. I owe a lot to the matron there, so since I live in the region now, I've been able to go visit more often than I could before. And... Or orphanage? Uh, oh, hold up, that's the place between here and Menoria, right? Ah, hooey! I was hoping it was going to be somewhere a little more scandalous. I should have known with you. What do you mean? Well, your answer is such a good girl answer. Spending your days off helping the poor little orphans and all? Huh. You're a true mo model student, aren't you? I'm impressed. P please. Poor little orphans? Don't you dare call them that! What? Well, what right do you have to talk about them like they're objects of pity? I'm not a good girl! Excuse me! Huh. I d didn't think I'd ever see her like that. I've done it again, haven't I? Me and my big mouth. She's, she's got me all wrong. I'm not some kind of model student or good girl like she thinks I am. It's not what I'm g always going to the or- That's not why I'm always going to the orphanage. Yeah, but you gotta talk to her though. <sighs> I don't want to talk to her right now. But you gotta talk to her right now. Okay. So... I'm craving... To talk to Lecter, evidently. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. You don't? Well, if you don't want to talk to anyone, you go to the old schoolhouse. But first, I gotta talk to everyone. Gotta check. Oh. This was open. Chest got me all excited again. Oh. These rooms are open, all of them? You could have at least closed the doors. I've got no reason to be here. The door is locked. Oh, this is so good. I decided to have a nap after class was over and before I knew it the sun was down So here I am having dinner Being a student isn't so bad Like how many places can you think of uh, that'll give you food a good food? That's actually affordable Is it though one of the girls in the student council has been working awfully late today We're open till late though, so I hope she'll come down here if she's feeling hungry that goes for you, too. Maybe it's just me, but you're looking a little blue. We're open until late if you, you're feeling hungry. Sometimes a good meal is just what you need to cheer right back up. Do I really want to talk to Luchi right now? Luchi's not who I want to talk to. Uh, maybe she is, though. <sighs> I 
Gonna check by the old schoolhouse. Who's more likely to lock me into a, a situation? Wow, man, old school out is just a guess. Why would Lecter be here? Why? What reason would he have to be here? Exactly. What? You are not who I wanted to see here. This is the guy that likes to draw. I'm trying to hide. Leave me alone. Hide from whom? What? I don't even want to know. That is interesting. All right, Lucci. I didn't know you were here, Lucci. Are you still working? It's awfully late. I was, yes. It took me a bit longer than I'd expected to finish everything. I'm almost done, though, so I'll head back soon. Oh, oh, that's good. Is something wrong, Chloe? You seem kind of down. No, I'm all right. Well, if you say so. It's past curfew, though. You should probably start heading back to your room. I suppose. That's the last place I want to be right now. No. You should probably head back to your room soon if, you, if you've got no reason to be out. It's past curfew after all. Huh. Where is Lecter? Must have missed him. I am surprised. Well, this is did not go like I expected it to go. I guess we're going back. Hmm. I don't want to talk to her right now. I'm confused. Do I go? I don't want to talk to anyone right now, but you do! But you do want to talk to someone, real badly. <sighs> What's wrong with me? My heart just won't stop pounding! Why am I acting like this? Boys dormitory. Maybe you should talk to Hans? Should I talk to Hans? No, Lecter. Lecter knows best. This isn't Han's room. I don't really want to talk to anyone else right now, either. It's past curfew, so I really don't want Mr. Effort to know I'm here. I'd get in tons of trouble. Should I really do it? I'm not sure. This isn't Han's room. I don't really want to talk to anyone else right now, either. Should I really do it? I'm not sure. Should I really do it? I'm not sure. Why does it give me the option to do this over and over? I don't... I wonder. You in there, Hans? Yeah, that, that you, Jill? Hold on, I'll open the door. What the heck are you doing here? It's late. Did something happen? Not really. Your face tells me that's a big old lie. Come on in. I'm by myself at the moment, anyway. 
Don't try any funny business, okay? As if I would. Now get your butt inside. So, what happened? Something to do with Chloe, right? Oh, I can't keep anything from you, can I? Have you ever fought with her before? Not yet, no. She's the type to just apologize before offering her opinion on anything, so we've got nothing to fight about, really. You asking because you have? Yeah. Huh. I really hate myself sometimes, Hans. I just can't seem to stop myself from blurting out insensitive stuff, even when I don't mean it. She was really angry, too. Angry? Chloe? Man, I can't imagine that. I wish I could have seen it. Can you be serious, Hans? I am, I am. Ugh, I just... I'm just not sure how to face her right now. So I don't want to go back to my room tonight. Can I sleep here? Proposal? Denied. You're sleeping in your own room, and that's final. I don't know what you said, but I'm sure she'll forgive you if you apologize. I don't know. Well, talk to her. <sighs> Alright, later Gator. Jill? It wouldn't have been the first time she's lost a friend over something like this. I hope it works out for her. Oh, Leo. You're sure back late tonight. I just walked past Jill, too. She was crying. Uh, well, that's because... Stop staring at me with that blank look! It's scarier than shouting at me! <sighs> I feel like I can understand myself at all. I feel like I can't understand myself at all these days. Please don't stand behind me like that. It's creepy. <laughs> Someone's in a bad mood. She's not looking too good. I always wished I could have a normal life like everyone else. An ordinary family, ordinary friends. But wishing for those things just doesn't get you them. And no matter how hard I try, nothing seems to work out. I just can't seem to make my uh, make any progress. Oh. I getcha. You were so frustrated you ended up lashing out against a friend who's kinda on the dense side. That's not what happened at all! I'm not you! I might ha be annoyed at her, but Jill is still very important to me. But... But I'm not wrong, either! I'm not going there because I pity the children or because I'm a good girl. The children, they are wonderful. They don't need pity. I'm going there because I enjoy being there and because it's important to me. I don't need to be made out of some kind of saint to, for going somewhere li I like. Because I'm not. That's not who I am. I just... I just wanted to be family. Why does nothing work out how I want it to? No matter how much I want friends and family, I just can't get them. Are they destined to forever be out of my reach? You're spilling all the beans tonight, huh? What about you? Is there anything in the world that you take seriously? Just one thing where, when you, where you refuse to compromise? You know, you can be pretty scary when you start shouting. Forget it. <sighs> Shouting at you isn't going to solve anything. So? You still don't know why, why you're mad, right? You're not even listening to me, are you? I just told you why. It's because, well, it's because I'm not going there out of pity. 
that, that's not why I'm going there at all. It's because it's genuinely important to me and because... Uh, now we are just going around in circles. Sorry, but this is boring as sin. Wh where are you going? At least listen to me. I'm trying to have a serious discussion with you. You can't walk away in the middle of it. Listen, all I'm gonna say is get yourself a clear answer to my question. These things are like a knotted up rope. If you don't untangle the heart of the problem, you'll just get more and more wrapped up in yourself. What does that even mean? Thanks for you to find that's for you to find out later. <sighs> oh, who am I even kidding? He's probably just trying to bully me. No, no he's not. He seems like he never takes anything seriously, but in reality, he does. You still don't know why you're mad, right? These things are like a knotted up rope. If you don't untangle the heart of the problem, you'll just get more and more wrapped up in yourself. He's right. Why am I so angry about this? What's got me so worked up? Why? Deep down, I knew all along what I was doing. All that time, I'd been pretending not to notice the truth, but I had known since the very beginning. And to avoid facing that fact, I kept desperately clinging to on to everything I could, telling myself I was right over and over again, trying to convince myself it was true. Maybe it was because I was afraid that if I accepted it, I was going to lose everything. That was why my heart was so restless. The next day. Mercia Orphanage. I guess this must be the place. Well, it's not like I have to do anything too daring today. All I need to do is scope it out for now. I know I didn't mean any harm by what I said, but that's no excuse. I never should have made fun of the kids here without knowing anything about them. <sighs> Which is why I'm gonna come here, get to know more about the place, and then try to apologize to her. Maybe then she'll forgive me. Huh? Looks like there's no one here. Whew. Wow, this place is actually pretty cute. Well, here comes the hard part. Chill? What are you doing here? What? 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 Ha 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 ha! Fancy seeing you here, Chloe. Um, do you want to come in? C come in? Y yeah, yeah, okay. <sighs> Wait here for a minute. I'll go and make us some tea. Look, I'm sorry, Chloe. What I said was really, really insensitive, and I'm really sorry for ever saying it. Don't worry about it, Jill. When I was younger, I lost both of my parents, too. You did? That's what you why what you said bothered me. In my head, I saw myself in them. I didn't want to think that just because someone was an orphan, they were unfortunate by default. I didn't want to think that alone meant they were doomed to spend life unable to have 
the same kind of happiness that others did. I didn't want anyone to say it, or even think it. But that wasn't because I was thinking of the children here. It was because I was thinking about myself. I didn't want to get be, the, be thought of as a poor little girl, either. Uh, Chloe, I really... Please, allow me to finish. I wanted to think I was getting angry on the children's behalf, but now I know I wasn't. All I cared about was myself. I knew that, too, and, uh, and that's why being called a model student or being spoken of like some kind of exemplary human being irritated me so much. <sighs> I'm such a hypocrite, aren't I? Lashing out at you as if I'm sticking up for other people, when in reality I'm only thinking of myself. I didn't want to admit it, even though I knew deep down. I shouldn't have been so annoyed by it, but I was. I really am sorry. N no! No, you're clearly not the one at fault, Chloe! This one is on me and I'm sorry! Why you were angry with me doesn't matter when I said something I never should have said from the get-go. I had no idea what kind of life you or the orphans here had led and I just wasn't trying to imply you were a hypocrite or anything at all. I wanted to apologize to you earlier. I just, I just, I didn't know, I suppose. Same here. I take back everything I said about the children too. I had no right to be judging them when I'd, when I'd never even been here and met or met them. I didn't know the first thing about what I was talking about. I hope you'll forgive me. Well then, would you like to meet them? Really? Middle of the day, sleeping, lazy bums. They sleep in bunk beds, huh? I'm kind of jealous. Achoo! Ha! <laughs> it's adorable! They really do look cute when they're sleeping. Now I feel even worse for being so mean. I was more in the wrong, Jill. I knew very well that you didn't actually mean any harm with what you said. All my frustrations just built to a point where I took uh, uh, where I took it out on you. So seriously, don't worry about it. Let's call our faults a, faults a draw, okay? <laughs> We're just going around in circles, aren't we? Still, in a way, I'm kind of glad this happened. It helped me sort out my own feelings. In fact, I feel more at peace with myself right now than I have in a long time. Because it's just... It, it, it's just hit home just how important this place truly is to me. Although, to tell you the truth, all this fighting has tired me out. You too, huh? I barely slept a wink last night. <laughs> anyway, you want to get going? Yeah. It's kind of weird to finally be able to talk to you openly like this, though. We've been sharing a room all this time. But this is the first time I feel like you've truly opened up to me. Fighting aside, that's a, that alone made that alone's made me pretty happy. Yeah, I'm happy too. Thanks for coming today, Jill. I'm glad I did. May this be the start of a long and fruitful friendship. <laughs> I hope so. I'm feeling so sleepy all of a sudden. The sunlight does wonders at making you want to drift off. Say. I wonder if this is how it feels to grasp what's really important to you. Huh? All this time, this orphanage was right here, same as I remembered it. 
All the time I was stubbornly refusing to come back. All the time I was wrestling with myself about how I felt. All that time I was right here, waiting for me to come back. Whether I was being a hypocrite didn't matter. I genuinely love this place and that's the only thing that I ever mad that ever mattered. And now I don't I know that I'll always feel that way. No matter how many times I lose sight of myself or find myself losing my way, I know that I'll always eventually come back and remember how I feel. This orphanage is just part of who I am. There was also one other important thing that I found myself realizing. I still hadn't thanked him for all he had done for me, not once. Lecture! Get back here! Today's the day you're finally going to do some work! Da! Ah! Chloe! I'm so sorry, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, my head hurts. Our pincer attack didn't work all that well. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that if you want to catch the almighty Lecter. How did you get up there so fast? His agility is amazing. Ah, you've got no one to blame but yourselves for letting me get away. So long, suckers! Get back here! We'll see who's a sucker when you're trained to a chair under a mountain of paperwork! After all the times I've chased him around, I know there's got to be more to this than it seems. He's not making it look like he's up there, he's making it look like he isn't. But is that all there is to it? Let's go and have a look anyway. No, not, let's not have go and have a look. Let's talk to everybody at Shannon's Royal Academy again. Cause we can. Cause we're gonna. Rhodey, I tried my luck confessing to Luchi while, a while back. All she said was, I'm sorry. Her expression says she's got someone else on her mind already to me. I don't think she'd look, any, uh, look at another guy even if I tried. Oh, hello, Chloe. Hello, Logic. Um, might I ask what you're doing? Ah, uh, not much. I just... It's just that I joined the Academy's music club. Today's our first practice session. Did you? Have fun, then. I I'll try. Incidentally, Chloe... Um, I was just gonna say... Uh, let's give our best to our next s set of examinations. <laughs> but of course. Apparently Freya is an exchange student from Lemon. They say she's crazy smart, like exceedingly intelligent. Th that's not why I decided to join the music club though, absolutely not. Oh. You joined the music club because you wanted uh... I don't know what this is, but uh, you wanted to do this. Now that I've decided to join this club, I intend to devote myself fully to it and all of its club activities. I'm not sure what purpose this particular practice activity serves, though. Um, yeah, I'm with you. I don't either. Radio calisthenics. Calisthenics. One, two, one, two. Radio cat. Radio calisthenics are a big thing over in Remiferia, you know. People always gather around a big orbital radio and then do them. Wait, do you know what an orbital radio is? It's a device that you can use to listen to music and stuff that get that gets broadcast by something called a radio station. Calisthen? No, no, that brain, that word slipped right through my brain. Hey, I've got you now. You sorry excuse for a president. Time to accept your fate! That's a costume. Was that Anton? That's Anton. No, what? Mickey? 
Mickey! What were you doing under there? Uh, let go of me! I wasn't doing anything! What is going on here? I keep telling you, I wasn't doing anything with I swear. Then what were you doing down there, huh? I'm sorry, but crawling under the there screams suspicious. Th that's what I thought too, that's why I crawled in there. I'm not following you. Um, can you elaborate? Well, you see, I, I was around the back of the school building when I saw this guy who looked like he rolled right out of a dumpster walking around. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so sloppy looking in my li looking in my life. It's scary how I just how I know just from that who he's talking about. Yeah, me too. Honestly, he made me so curious I had to see what he was up to. So I ended up following him. Anyway, he looked around for a while, then he wandered here into the auditorium. Pretty suspicious, right? Hmm. It was when I followed him in here that he noticed me. The second he saw me, he seemed to panic a little before crawling under here, there. I tried to follow him, but I ended up getting stuck. It was so close, too. <sighs> um, so in other words, he was toying with you. But maybe if you bothered thinking about things other than how best to skip class, you wouldn't fall for such obvious tricks. He was deliberately trying to get your attention by acting suspicious as all get out, like he was trying to set you up. Call it our student council's president's specialty. What? That guy is the student council president? You've gotta be kidding. He couldn't look any less the part. <laughs> he is preaching to the choir. I can't believe what I'm hearing. That guy is the student council president? Seriously? There is something wrong with this world. I can't believe that guy's the student council's president. I think I'd better I'd be better at the job than him, and I thought I was the biggest slacker around. Listen to what I'm saying, Mickey! I should probably have told you this a long time ago, but I'm go going to take this golden chance to give you a good lecturing now. Um, Jill? Oh, Chloe! Sorry, but I'm gonna stay and give Mickey good lecturing for a while longer. Oh, that's alright, you can leave looking for a lector to me. I think I might have an idea where he is. You do? Oh, but why am I surprised? You are like a metal detector for lector at this point. Huh, <laughs> I wouldn't go quite that far. I'm gonna keep lecturing Mickey for a while longer. His slacktitude always reminded me of lector and anything that reminds me of him makes me mad, mad, mad! Ha ha ha. Mad, mad, mad. You know, it's been a while now, but uh, the person advertising the shoe store isn't going on about it anymore, mainly because it's 8 p.m. But um, what they say is, Reno, 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 sure, sure, sure. Reno, 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 sure, sure, sure. And, um, well, they say that like a hundred times every day, and, uh, gah. Reno is the name of that shoe store. Schuhe is the German word for shoes. And... Well... Well... It's, uh, that's what that's what my m nightmares look like. Ah, uh, looks like I couldn't beat Lucci this time. I've been trying a bunch of new study methods, but they just weren't enough, I guess. I wonder what kinds of study method sh mes methods she uses. This makes three victories and two losses. She really is a good rival. Oh, here are the examination results. Let's see who the top five scorers among the third years were. Number one was... Lecter Arundel? But he was barely in any class! Second highest ranking was Leo. Third was Regal. Oh, it looks like I was the highest among the first years. I ended up being forced to draw a portrait of the student council president a while back. I didn't expect what would happen, though. 
it ended up winning this contest that I entered it in. Why? I wonder if the judges liked the falcon on his shoulder or something. I mean, it did make for a good picture, but still. He took grief. Well, no, not grief. Good lord, that's the second time I say that, I think. Seek. He he hijacked my, my seek. I'm intending to try a new approach towards teaching in Tormo's lesson. I haven't decided what to go with, however, maybe using short stories to test reading comprehension would be a good idea. I'm intending to try a new approach toward teaching in tomorrow's lesson. Just using textbooks all the time is a little boring, both for myself and the students. Lecter became president instead of all the other much more fitting candidates, and I still can't bring myself to accept that. It's just not right! Ugh! How can his grades be so good when he never acts like he gives a flying hoot about anything? I wish I could make the exams much harder just so I can see him suffer. But if I did that, all the other students would suffer too. Decisions, decisions. Come on now, Milia. The only two candidates running were, were Lecter and Regal, and Regal was off on the actual day due to stomach pains. It couldn't have really ended up any other way. Is there, if there's only one, if there's one thing Lecter is bizarrely good at, it's speeches. Every time he starts one, I can't help but be enraptured by it. It's weird how most of the time he messes around, but at times like those, everything he says makes perfect sense. Maybe he'd actually be a good politician. Oh dear, are you looking for Lecter again? Yes, I'm afraid so. Tomorrow's the general meeting of the students' council, but he's run away and we can't find him. Which is a problem, as we don't have all of the necessary documents to conduct it as it stands. Ah, <laughs> he's a born troublemaker, that one. Sir, um, if you don't mind me saying, I'm a little surprised by just how much you seem to, tr to trust him. I suppose you would be. Still, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what the potential of his actions are, too, and fully accepts them. He still acts however he likes, but he's more than willing to face the consequences of his actions. Ah, I'm not sure trust is the most appropriate word for what I have for him, but at the very least, I think he makes for an interesting president. Admittedly, he does do his work properly when we do manage to capture him. And I know from experience that it may seem like he never takes anything seriously, but that's absolutely not the case. I just wish that we'd actually do, he'd actually do his work seriously from the beginning, instead of requiring us to capture him before he does it. Quite understandable. Perhaps you should tell that to, to, you should tell him that yourself next time you see him. I think I will. Lecter often comes to this room and lies down on the sofa over there. <laughs> he really seems to enjoy the atmosphere of this academy from what I've seen. Regardless of how his behavior is on the outside, I truly believe he's enjoying this time here. Oh, Roy! You haven't seen Lecter around here, have you? Lecter? I'm afraid not, no. I see. Sorry for troubling you, then. The captain of our club doesn't exactly get along very well with Lecter. Apparently, they were rivals for the position of president last year, and we all know how that went. I still feel like Regal would have been far more suited for it, though. I've drawn up a plan for our club activities during the holidays. It can be a pain at times, but this position is turning out to be a lot more than fun, more fun than I expected it to be. So it turns out, if you pour yourself a cup of tea, and then wait an hour, it's cold. It's a, an observation I just made, just, uh, just so you have some insights. La la la! She finally seems to have seriously developed some enthusiasm for her new position. 
Now the exam results are all finally out though, so it's probably about time for her to be returning home for a while. It's probably about time for, Felici or for Felicity to return home for a while. The holidays will be beginning soon after all. Well, we'll technically be on vacation, so there's no reason to start practice too early in the morning. So I can start a bit later and then move uh, move lunchtime a little back too. Alice, it's almost time for the holidays! Yay! I'd better start thinking about how I should spend them! Heart. We've still got lessons for a while longer, though. I kind of feel like I'm the only one excited right now. Well, you're excited because you don't have to look for a lecture, huh? Isn't that a good point, huh? Huh, ha ha ha. I should probably start doing some prep work for tomorrow's classes now. Hehe, <laughs> studying is such fun! Okay. At first my parents were dead set against me coming here, but I'm so glad I was able to do it in the end. Studying is so much fun! Haha! 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 I literally have some exams in three days and they're kind of important and uh... Well, I've been recording for... for approximately like eight hours? Maybe seven maybe? You might think Lecter doesn't look like the type who help who, to help out school staff like me, but he helps me with main with many tasks a lot. He gets a lot of hate, but he's a good guy in my book. He has been known to steal stuff from time to time, though. You might think Lecter doesn't look like the type to help out school staff like me, but he helps a lot with a, with t some tasks, almost always during class time, though. I'm all alone with Lucci. This is like a dream come true. Oh, Lucci! What is it? I just wanted to ask you something. What do you think the most important thing in the world is? It's love. Right? Huh. If you ask me, it's probably... Huh. Strength? I suppose? <laughs> ah, speaking of strength, I feel like smacking Lecter upside the upside the head right now. Well, if you need someone to hit, you can smack me around as much as you like. Very, very healthy relationship you've got going on there, Hans. Oh, sup, Chloe? Huh? Huh? Is something wrong? Oh no, it's nothing. Looks like Lecter isn't here. Maybe you should go and see what Jill is up to? Lecter's not here. Then again, what if he is and just wants us to think he's not here so that we'll mosey our way elsewhere? Ah, uh, this is why he's such a pain to deal with. Hi there, Chloe. Have you found any sign of Lecter? I wish I could say yes, but unfortunately not. Oh. There's no sign of him anywhere. What should I even do when I find him? Just so you know, punching doesn't seem to have done it in the past. No, Lecter, that's not me, I swear! Uh... Oh, it's you. Don't scare me like that. I thought you were him. Here we have another of Lecter's victims, I see. Mr. Effort has both of his eyes closed. You monster! No! Just what did Lecter say to him? I don't want to know. I don't. Well, I do, kind of. Yeah, now I'm curious. We haven't found Anton and we haven't found Ricky yet. 
Why was Anton hiding back here? Last night I found a tiny flower in the moonlight. Seeing it try its hardest to bloom despite its small size just made me feel like my worries are all so silly. Weird, right? It made me feel at ease with the world. What have I been wasting all this time worrying about? I'm feeling really bright today. Good morning, sunlight. Good morning, new day. Huh. <sighs> hey there. Nice weather, huh? Wonder what I should do today. Anton ran off somewhere, but he's back now. He says he's fine, but I'm not sure I buy it. <laughs> I've heard that that a whole lot of times before this, you know? All right. Now is just the cafeteria, and then the upstairs area, and then the roof. And there is the roof. The roof, the roof, the roof. Fauna, I'll go with a one, with one A set, please. Hi there, Chloe. <laughs> Surprised to see me here? I don't spend the entire day behind the receptionist's desk, you know. Ooh, the lunchtime rush is finally over. I never cease to be amazed by how much energy you students have. Seeing you students so energetic always brings a smile to my face. We're still open if you hadn't had anything to eat yet. By the way, just hop in line. Tomorrow is the general meeting of the student council. You must find him before then. Right! He never says more than that, uh, more than he has to, does he? Find him before the end of the day. I'm busy hel helping out Leo with his work today. Unfortunately, all I can really do is get things together for him. But he does so much for me all the time, I'd like to help however I can. Still, I am amazed just how much work he usually takes care of all on his own. I've really got, to, got a lot to learn from him. Ah, hello, Chloe. How do you come? Uh, uh, how come you hadn't been showing? Uh, you haven't been showing up for practice much lately. Sorry about that, Regal. I've just had a lot going on lately, I suppose. Oh, right. Still, it's it's you we are talking about here. So I always knew there had to be some kind of legitimate reason. Drop by if you get the chance, though. We'll always be waiting for you. I will. Thank you. Drop by that practice if you ever get the chance. We'll always be there. Clara's gone and lost the key to this room. She gave me a real earful when I lost it, and then she goes and does the exact same thing. Typical, huh? I'm trying to help her find it, because I don't really have any choice. I just hope it doesn't turn out to have been somewhere stupid obvious the whole time. Huh? Where did I put the key to get in here? We're stuck outside without that. Looks like I've gone and lost the key to this room. Ah oh, well, it'll probably turn up at some point. Guess we'll just have to do some training by ourselves today. No one here, I guess we should leave then. Wait. I knew I'd find you here. Oh, look who we've got here. Great weather, huh? Perhaps so. But you can't honestly be believe I came to talk to you about the weather. If you have enough free time to laze around on the roof, come and do some work. Everyone could use your help, you know. Hey, they need me a lot less than you'd think. And predicting the weather 10 years in the future takes a lot of brain power, you know. I need to concentrate right now. How does he think of these things? Still going by my experience with him. When he acts like this, he's usually willing to listen to me. Um, hey Lecter. I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks? For what? A lot of things, really. You've done an awful lot to help me ever since I enrolled here. 
But because you're always trying to act like you aren't, or you're running away from me, I've never been able to say thanks for any of it. I feel like I owe it to you. Yeah, I'm lost. I got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> you asked me a long time ago what it was that I came here to do, didn't you? I hated the life I had before enrolling here. I always felt like I was being pushed around by everyone and everything around me instead of really achieving anything for myself. And it was that I hated most of all. I felt empty. Worthless. That was a part of why I didn't want to try and answer your question, or even think about it. It was like I accepted how weak I was inside. I'd never be able to get any stronger. But that's not how I feel now. It's not empty at all anymore. It's not empty at all anymore. Thanks to coming here and meeting you and all of my all of my friends, I've learned so many new things. I was able to do things for myself too, instead of just relying on others for everything. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to thank you. Man, I told you before you were serious. I told you before you were too serious, right? You've been thinking about that one offhand thing all this time? I never saw that coming! You're trying to make fun of me again, aren't you? What about you, though? Why did you choose to come up here? To come here? Me? Huh. I had nothing better to do, I guess. Seemed like a good way to kill time. Huh. Really? Well, as long as you're here. You may as well do some work. Wait, wait. Tomorrow is the Student Council's Grand General Meeting, which means you have a lot to do. And you need to do it all by the end of the day. There's a mountain of it, just waiting for you to get started on. Hold up a second. Don't do this, Chloe. I can explain. I'm not going to listen. Spare me, please. This was the first and last time I ever had to thank Lecter for all he did for me. The day after that year's, uh, after that year's Acad academy festival, he suddenly registered his intent to withdraw from school and was never seen there again. He was himself to the very end though, making a sudden appearance in the student council organizes, uh, organized place final scene, ruining it for his amusement. Then two years later, I ended up meeting him once more, in a place and way I never would have expected. Side story, Descended Wings, finished. Received Falcon Eye, 6000 Mira. Wow. That was nice. Bring to me the darling of pure white radiance and proof of her scholarship. Only then shall the door open. No. For the moment. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.